today we are in Romania and we are in the city of Timisoara. It is a city that is on the western side of Romania by the Beggar River and we've just made our first stop in Union Square. There are three main squares in Timisoara and the first one that we're going to check out is Union Square. In Union Square, there's St. George's Cathedral, there's the Brook House, and there's also the Baroque Palace, which is the art museum. Union Square looks like the place to be. They have umbrellas set up all outside of each of the buildings, so there's tons of cafes and restaurants, and it looks like they have a lot of different art displays as well. I knew that Tibi Shora was going to be really cute and fairy tale like, but actually seeing it with my own eyes, I'm super impressed. All of the buildings are different colors, they're beautifully designed, the architecture on them is so nice. There's so many like details in each of the buildings. This funky looking building behind me is one of the most iconic buildings in Timisoara. It is a pharmacy. I'm not entirely sure if it's the oldest pharmacy in Timisoara. Irrespective, it is a very cool looking building with its uh, turquoise and raspberry exterior. I did say it was a turquoise exterior, but upon reflection it's more closer to pistachio or mint green. What do you think, Holly? Yeah, I think it's like a mint green color. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> that ended up being a happy coincidence. We were just at the pharmacy and now we're going to take a ride on an autonomous car. Alright, we're getting on. Let's see. I hope it doesn't crash. This is going to be a new experience. So there's literally no driver right now. It's no, I'm not doing anything. It's fully automat automatized. We literally just sat in that minion car and uh, just got taken for a little road trip. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been in a fully automated car like that before. But we were talking to the guy and he programmed it. So he said he follows like a path and it has sensors so it's not going to run into anything. But it was an unexpected experience. We were just checking out the Brook House and then we got to ride in a... Autonomous car. <laughs> Autonomous car. <laughs> Right, we are leaving Union Square behind us and heading towards the next square, which is Liberty Square. It was a pretty short walk from Union Square to Liberty Square. This square is a lot smaller and uh, I feel like the buildings were far prettier in the other one. Liberty Square is known for having the town hall building, for having statues and for the Umbrella Street. Can you guess what street we're on? Umbrella Street! Yeah, this is a really cool, brightly colored street. This gives me a happy feeling. It really does, like you can't help but smile when <laughs> you're know. on Umbrella Street. <laughs> <laughs> One of the best things about Umbrella Street, it kept us out of the hot summer sun. Summer is definitely here. We've walked down the beautiful Umbrella Street and we've made it to our third square, which is Victory Square. Victory Square celebrates the fall of communism in 1989. This beautiful building at the end of Victory Square is the Opera House of Timisoara. It is really hot outside, so I think the best way to cool down is to get some gelato. We have located the gelato store successfully. It came at the right time because it was getting a little too hot. Time to cool down with some yummy, yummy gelato. I got the cookies, the original flavor, I guess, of this place, Gelato di Bruno. Gelato was wonderful and now it is time to continue with our tour. Alright, after Gelato, our next stop is at the Orthodox Metropolitan Cathedral. This cathedral lies on the other side of Victory Square. So on one side is the Opera House and on the other is the Orthodox Cathedral. We're going to attempt to go inside and record. We're not entirely sure if we're allowed to record because some cathedrals it's not allowed so let's see how it goes the inside of the cathedral is absolutely beautiful all you can see is gold there's gold everywhere gold chandeliers gold uh, I don't even know it's just gold filled with gold right behind the cathedral is Cathedral Park and it's this massive expanse of trees grass it provides nice amounts of shade and it's really pretty to just walk through in order to get to the river Bega, which is where we're headed. We've made it down to the Bega River and we're going to try to find the spot where you can get on one of the river ferries. We're just going to ride the river ferry up to the Rose Garden. Okay, we have waited around 20 minutes and it's time to get on the river boat. It's only one Romanian lift, which is like 20 cents to ride the ferry. We're going to ride it two stops and we're going to get off at Rose's Park. 
two stops later we have made it to our destination we just have to cross the river to get to the rose garden people on the river were doing all kinds of activities like they had boats that you could rent they were kayaking they even had some restaurants uh, with barges look pretty cool i think we probably should have come to roses park during the springtime because it kind of looks like there aren't as many flowers um still a really nice park Right, we are walking away from the Rose Garden and going back into town. I think we're going to get something to eat. We have come to Miarita and they serve traditional Romanian cuisine. Um, we're going to try some Romanian dishes. So we're going to get the sarmale, which is the stuffed cabbage. And it comes with galinta, which is like corn and sour cream. So inside of the stuffed cabbage, leaf is meat and rice and spices and then I've got a little dollop of sour cream it's got a vinegar flavor so I think the leaves were soaked in some sort of vinegar sauce so it's kind of got like a little sour flavor um, and I don't know anything with sour cream to me it just makes it so good we just finished with our dinner we got sarmale it was so good this place is very traditional so if you want to come experience uh, some good Romanian cuisine we highly recommend it this place is pretty cool I feel like I've gone back into a Romanian village we also checked out the Timișoara beer factory on another day the Timișoara beer factory is right next door to the restaurant so we've come to the beer garden area so it's outside we're protected by these umbrellas so that's nice because it is a hot day we're gonna try some of the local beers today and we're gonna try some traditional Romanian dishes. Being at a brewery, the first thing we obviously had to order was beer and I believe we've got the home brews. Um, mine is the, forgive my pronunciation, the Nepeturata. Holly got the Nepeturizata. I can't wait to try them out. So I'm just gonna cheers myself while Holly records. <laughs> wow, that is good. That is like a German vice beer. I feel like yours has a much, much lighter taste. Both of them go down very smoothly. This is going to be good. All right, we've just ordered our food and we're going to get a sampler platter. So we're going to try a few different Romanian specialties. We set out to try a bunch of different Romanian foods, but I think we ordered the right thing because this platter has all the Romanian foods that we've been wanting to try. And I'm not, I'm not a food aficionado. <laughs> I'm gonna get the camera and Holly's gonna explain all the foods that are here. Okay, so the first thing right here, this is polenta, this is egg, pickles, sausage, potatoes, onion, this is ribs, sarmale, and this is bean stew. First taste test. All right, so this is the Romanian sausage. It definitely reminds me of the Hungarian sausage where it's seasoned with a lot of paprika. Can you tell? I think my favorite part about the sausage is the crunch on the outside. No, I'm not a big fan of eggs because I like them to be cooked in a specific way, but I think the chef has heard my recommendations because this is the exact way I like my eggs cooked. I like, I just, I can't stand a runny yolk, but this guy has got it sorted. The egg has been seasoned really nicely with paprika, which is, oh my god. You like it? So good. I'm also going to try some of the beans. Mm, they look good. It's nice, a bit bland, but it's for a bean stew. It's alright. The pork chop is so juicy. It's got a real smoky flavor, so you can tell that it's been grilled so good I had sarmale for the first time and it's effectively cabbage leaves wrapped and inside there's meat and rice um, I really liked uh, the last time we had it I feel like this sarmale has a far less vinegary taste the meat is so supple and the rice just it's a really good sarmale I like it and the dill it's a good shout I don't think I've actually ever had polenta so there's gonna be a one-way ticket exclusive it's got a very starchy texture um, I don't know if I do like it or I don't like it I think I'm pretty much indifferent to it oh my goodness this traditional Romanian food platter was delish so 
So I think one of my favorite things was the sarmalay. I love sarmalay. I love the vinegar flavor of the cabbage leaves. All of the barbecue was also very good. At first, the bean stew was kind of bland, but I just keep eating it. So obviously I really like it. Uh, mm, all of it is so good and paired with the local beer. Timmy Shora kind of took us by surprise. We really had a nice day. It's a really cute, pleasant town with lots to do and see.